handsome. Must make myself pretty. Oh boy, this girl is a real cutie. She smells pretty. Mama, why is he here? Okay, let's get on with it. Must play hard to get. Hello, ladies. Aren't you all looking lovely? Oh no, Patsy. What do we do? For starters, stop staring. Ginny Lane, go with her. Ginny, Ginny, go. There we go. Jo go, Ginny, you don't just stop me right there in the half waypoint. Just go. All y'all get out that gate. Come on, Charlene. Girls, go. Choo, choo, choo. Ginny Lane, get out that gate. Go. Out that gate, Danny. Out that gate, Danny. Don't be. <laughs> Danny's being a ditz. Danny's being just so ditzy. Danny, go out that gate behind you, Danny. Go out that gate. Look. Danny, turn around, Danny. It's right there, Danny. Just go right there. Stop looking at me, Danny. Danny, stop looking at me and go out that gate right there with them other girls. Oh, my gosh. Danny, why are you being a hardhead, sweetie? Come on. Come on, Danny. This is not very Longhorn Lester's, Danny. It's not Longhorn Lester, sweetie. It's not long one left. Get out that gate, Danny. Go turn left, Danny. Danny! Golly gee, Danny. This is why even today, a real cowboy would much rather have a horse to work his cattle than he would a uh, side-by-side. Yeah, working your cows with a horse is a whole lot easier. I know what you're gonna say, well, a horse gets tired, a side-by-side -side doesn't. You're right. But a horse also can have a whole lot more driving power as far as, no, horse. see what I'm saying? Horses don't need quite so much room to turn. Her, uh, Jolene, just go, baby. It's a simple matter of pressure and release, but I cannot release the pressure until she goes where I want her to go. But she's smart. Oh, she's so smart. She's a smart one. You're a smart girl, baby, but you gotta go where I need you to go, sweetie. She knows where I want her to go. Come on, let's go. Come on. There you go. Don't go back on me. Oh, Lord, don't go backwards. Don't go backwards, baby. Right there behind her, behind the tree of life, is an open gate that we need her to go through. Come on, beautiful, let's go. Come on, sweetie. You're almost there, baby. And we're off. All right, take him with you then. You guys go together. Go together then, baby, go together. Y'all both have to go anyway, come on, go together. I thought it would be easier to take her and then he would follow but uh, because you can't really drive a calf that young. They don't drive. A little bull calf is not gonna drive. He has no idea of uh, the whole concept of pressure and release. Ah, and they're not coming to food. All right, so I'm just gonna take the feed buggies out of here then. So what we're gonna do is just move the feed buggy and hopefully the cows when they get hungry will come to the feed buggy to eat and I'll be able to close them into the lot when they do that. So we're taking the side by side and pulling their, our UFO into the lot. I'll show you. This thing is pretty darn heavy. And this side by side may not pull it all the way in there. Let me 
me stop here, go ahead and open the gates all the way up, move the cheese balls out of the way. And if we don't have a good running start, we might not make it, y'all. We might not make it up this little hill and through the mud. I don't know. Let's just try it, though. Well, as you can see, most of all the cows are down in the far corner grazing. So I'm not going to have any luck to get them up to the lot now. But I did move the feed buggy into the lot. And so eventually the cows will come up to eat. What I'll have to do is be ready to open the So what I'll do is I'll close this red gate here so they can't get to the feed buggy. And by tomorrow, they'll be hungry. They'll want their grains. And so what I'll do is I'll come back, open that gate there, call them in. Once I get the three that I need inside the lot, then I'll close the red gate and then I'll go through all my sorting process to eventually get the three that I need back to the front pasture along with their calves. And that's gonna be quite the challenge, but uh, it has to be done. We don't need her, sweetie. Jenny Lane's gonna be fine, okay? Friends, I'm gonna tell you right now that Jenny Lane is too young to breed, I think, but we don't wanna take any chances. And the thing is, I'm gonna be leaving the bulls on the pasture for the rest of the year and through probably September, October of next year. And so by then, Jenny Lane will come into heat, and we do not want her dad to breed her. Well, who's hollering and yelling at me? Is that Charlene? I can tell from your voice, sweetie. You have a beautiful voice, but uh, you're staying up front, okay? You're going to stay up front. Yes, you are. All right, friends, that's what we're doing over here today. It's, it's, uh, it's working out for us. Friends, someone's trying to sneak out on me. Sweetie, you think I'm not that? She doesn't think I'm very smart, does she? She don't think I'm that smart. I've already put me a closed gate here, sweetie girl. There's a closed gate. You're not coming out this way. Today we are sorting our cows. And uh, Ruby does not like to be told where to go. Ruby does not like to be told where to go, friends. So for the friends who are worried that Jenny Lane is too young to be off mom, no, she's not. She's not too young to be off mom. She's plenty old enough to be off of mom. We have watched her plenty, of, oh boy. We have watched her plenty of times eating grain. Of course, she can also graze on this beautiful green grass that we still have this late into the fall. Uh, don't forget, we've also planted rye grass so it's gonna stay nice and green. Now, she may be too young to be bred, and that's completely fine. But uh, my worry, I've already said this once, but uh, if we don't get her off the pasture with her dad whenever he gets in, at some point, once she becomes a year or so old, she will come into heat. And we don't want to try to fight dad off of her. So it's easier to have her on this pasture, off away from dad. And so... She's a very healthy yearling, and we're not concerned about her one bit. She has a good friend there in Danny as well. Her and Danny are good friends, y'all. And her sister Charlene is here. That's Charlene there. Charlene is just not real sure what I've... <laughs> Charlene is not real sure what I've done and why I've done it. But it'll all make sense to everybody in a couple of days. Once they all get settled and sorted, it'll all make a whole lot better sense. Not just to them, but to you all as well, okay? I promise you, we know what we're doing here. Thank you. So, what I hoped would have happened is happening. The uh, girls have realized that the feed buggy is gone. These over here have discovered where it's at. Now, the only problem is I don't need these particular girls in there. I want Jolene, who's down along the fence line, with Gracie. I need Jolene and Gracie, who are both over there with their calves. And here's Pearl. But what Pearl's done 
is discovered some of the old feed on the ground that's still dry because it's underneath the uh, summer barn here. And they're eating from right there, which means they're not going to be hungry anytime soon. There's a lot of feed on the ground right there. But so by me opening that gate to the lot and letting all of those cows in does me no good whatsoever. Yeah, that does me no good whatsoever, friends. Because like I said, the cows that I need up front would be this one right here, Pearl. <laughs> yeah, talking about you, baby. And then Jolene and Gracie who are still back towards the uh, far, well, a little along the fence line there. So day one of our roundup went okay. We did get four cows separated from the others. I'm still waiting on three more. But like I was saying in my live video, uh, if your cows are not hungry, it's hard to find a way to entice them to come or go or whatever you need to do, you know. So by moving that feed buggy over, we hope that they'll work up an appetite and then tomorrow we'll come back and if I can see the ones that I need gathered around the feed buggy there in the lot, then I'll open that gate up, let them come on in. And uh, we'll just continue on from there. Thank you all for watching. We love you so much. Blessed to have you. And we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, something like that.